Hey, welcome to Ken's Games Collection. Once or twice a week I go on to eBay to look for prices of Switch games. Buying them brand new turns out to be really expensive here in Australia because of the fact that first party Switch games don't drop in price hardly. So anyway, I go on eBay, type in Nintendo Switch games just to see what pops up over the last few days. And I start scrolling through uh, a long list of games, and you cannot believe this. I come across Detective Pikachu on eBay selling for $600. Now, that's crazy. And the way things are going with games on eBay, it's not hard to believe this sort of stuff. But also, you start doubting yourself. You're thinking, is this a, is this a typo? Because this game was released towards the end of 2023, and that's what I thought. I thought it was a typo. This couldn't be right. Um, I followed this particular post, and can you believe it? Within an hour, the seller sends me a message to give me $100 off. I'm like, this is insane. They're trying to sell this game that was released in 2023 for $600 and they're going to give me a discount of $100, $500. Are you kidding me? So like Detective Pikachu, I thought I would investigate this a lot closer. The description says, Japanese software, new and sealed. Hang on a minute, Japanese software? Let's have a closer look at the photos of this and lo and behold, it's not the Japanese software, it's the actual Australian release with the big W seal there and there we have the classification label and there's another photo and it says the European version there's no way this was the Japanese copy so then I decide to check out eBay and see what prices Detective Pikachu is selling for in Japan and it's about 18, 19, 23, 24 dollars US no way is this game worth 500 or 600 dollars even water graded is 170 dollars and the game is still available here in australia for 69 dollars and 95 cents then something really strange happened with this the listing all of a sudden ended and i'm like okay so what's going on here so i started following the seller i wanted to see if this game was going to pop up and while I was waiting for that, I thought, okay, I'm going to have a look at some of these other Switch games and see what they're selling for. Look at this Zelda, $30,000. Are you kidding me? Is this the way the market is going with Switch games? I cannot believe for Collector's Edition. And even with the Mario games, which I covered in another video, these games are trying to sell for $15,000, $10,000, $9,000. It's just unbelievable, uh, this sort of stuff. Then I come across this Japanese game, Sugar Style. I had no idea what this was. Why is this selling for $8,000? I had a look at some gameplay, and guess what? It's a one of those graphic visual novels or whatever it is. I hate that sort of stuff. But I could not believe that this game was trying to sell for over $8,000. So once again, I thought, okay, I'm going to type in the name of this title and have a look on eBay to see what this game really is worth because there's no way this is one of these amazing games for $8,000. And guess what? You can buy this game for about $36 US, upwards to $37, maybe $40 I saw on eBay. And um, yeah, this is just crazy. All this sort of stuff. Zeldas, Mario Parties water graded and all this sort of stuff trying to sell outlandish prices in this day and age this is just getting crazy with the pricing so the next day i go back to have a look at detective pikachu remember it was selling for 600 dollars, and can you believe it it reappeared back on ebay for an auction over eight days then all of a sudden it sells for 36 dollars, and i'm like what is going on with this seller in the description, the seller says I had to remove something on the ad, so I had to fix it up. All good, blah, 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 blah. But why 24 hours earlier, you had this up on eBay for $600 by now. And when I start following this particular item, I get a message an hour later offering it for $500. I just don't understand what's going on here. And it's probably one of the weirdest things I've seen on eBay ebay in a long time for a seller to put it up for six hundred dollars offer it for five hundred dollars take it off 
put it on for an auction for eight days, all of a sudden the thing sells, and I'm like, this is only a case that Detective Pikachu could probably solve, because I have no idea what's going on, what was going through the mind of this, this particular seller. Was it a kid? I don't know, but um, it's just really weird seeing this sort of stuff, and I am getting sick and tired of going onto eBay and seeing prices of Nintendo Switch games going for extortion prices. $30,000 for a Legend of Zelda? Come on, that's ridiculous.